From the air, you can see just how big Mar-a-Lago is, 10,000 square meters with more than 100 rooms spread over several buildings sitting on some of the finest beachfront in the United States. But the gates are closed to anyone who can't afford the $200,000 membership fee. That's if you can make it onto the waiting list. So, for the rest of us, the best way to see Mar-a-Lago is from the water. There we go. I gotta keep up with you. So we took to the waters in our kayaks, guided by local reporter Christina Webb, whose beat is now Mar-a-Lago. So here we have Mar-a-Lago behind us. Is this about as close as we can get? Is this a peak? Absolutely. You know, this is really as close as we can get. And when the president is in town, you're not even going to get this close because the Coast Guard is here to keep you away. Landing on beautiful Palmsicle Island, Christina tells me about the wonderful history of Mar-a-Lago, built as a private house in the roaring 1920s by socialite and heiress Marjorie Merriweather Post. And upon her death, she donated the estate to the U.S. government for one particular reason. It was meant for meant to be a winter White House. It was meant to be used by presidents to come down, spend the weekend uh, as a retreat, separate from you know Camp David or and you know the president's own summer homes. But U.S. presidents didn't want to come to Mar-a-Lago, so it was given back to the Merriweather Post Estate in 1981, who then later sold it to now President Donald Trump in 1985 for just five million dollars and now he's president it's being used as exactly it was intended a winter white house trump now spends most weekends here and that's causing quite a controversy but he's used to that with mar-a-lago when he first opened the club locals didn't like it a lot of the clubs that are in Palm Beach, the, the longtime clubs, were very, um, very exclusive. And uh, what Trump was, was proposing was um, a club that's open to everyone. And that included, um, you know, African-Americans, uh, people from other countries, um, not necessarily just the usual Palm Beachers. Now home to a president and hosting another one this week, Mar-a-Lago has become the most exclusive club in Palm Beach and at the same time fulfilling its original purpose as a retreat for a U.S. president and now a Chinese president too. Nathan King, CGTN, Palm Beach, Florida.